Let's start our exploration of working with the Windows registry using PowerShell Core by creating registry keys and values. In this video, Nick will show us how to create new keys in the registry using the new item commandlet, and he'll also show us how to create and update values within those keys using the set and new item property commandlets. He'll also switch over to the GUI from time to time to give you a visual representation of the changes that he's been making. Over to you, Nick. Thanks, Josh. And in this next video, we're going to look at creating registry keys and values. So to start with, we're going to use new item and we're going to create a key under H key current user called text snips. So to prove that's actually created, we've opened reg edit. We'll have to do a refresh and there you can see the text snips. So next, we want to put some values in and we're going to use a commandlet called set item property. The value we're going to use is username and the data that we'll have in that value is text snips user and it's a type of string. We'll go back, you can refresh it and there you can see the username is in. So I'll add another value. This time we're adding a version and that's going to be version 20 and it's a type of D word. Okay. So if we go back into regedit, we'll refresh that, you'll see the version is at 20. So there's another thing we can do with set item property is that we can actually update values. So this time I'm updating the version to 30. Now we just flip back into the registry editor and we'll refresh again. And there you'll see the value is updated to 30. So another feature of using new item and new item property is we can actually create a registry settings multiple locations. So I'm creating another key called test. And in there, we're going to create a value called binaries. And it's a string and the value is going to be C colon backslash text snips. So we want to create that under the test key and under the text snips key. If we go back in again, we'll have to refresh this. Now you'll see under text snips, we've got the binaries value. And if we go under test, there's binaries again. Using rename item property, we can also rename our values. So in this case, we're going to rename username to ID. And if we flip back over again, going to need to refresh this. And there you'll see it's changed to ID. 